but still, despite its impressive size, it is not dangerous to humans. It doesn't even have teeth. His mouth is located on the bottom of its snout, called the rostrum, which allows it to feed on the bottom of the basin floor. It is able to detect its food thanks to its borders. Did you know that this turgeon can live as long as a human being? Can you see the group or the school of fish right here or over there? Those are striped bass. Swimming in a school is a survival strategy that provides them a better protection from predators. Another fish that is swimming in the school is the silver colored one near the surface called the American Chad. So Chad is a species that spends most of its life in the ocean but will reproduce in the clear river water where it is born like salmon. We, uh, so with all of these animals that are fed and produce excrements daily, we need to make sure that the water they are swimming in is clean. This maintenance is done by your filtration system and by your divers who clean the tank three times a week. So here at the bottom, the animals live in a pollution-free environment, but in the Gulf of St. Lawrence, the reality is quite different. And marine species suffer from the impact of human presence, such as plastic pollution. Scientists agree plastic in the ocean is catastrophic, and it is estimated that by 2050, there will be more fish, uh, more plastic than fish in the sea. Every year, tons of plastic debris are dumped into the ocean, and the small fragments of this plastic enter the food chain. Fortunately, there is a lot that can be done to reduce our plastic consumption. For example, use reusable bags or water bottles, buy your groceries in bulk, or uh, reduce items made of single-use plastic. We can also wash our clothes less.